During the 2019 NBA Finals, Klay Thompson ruptured his ACL. If the question was, should Klay Thompson get an ACL reconstruction, then the answer is pretty simple. Yes, because he is a high-level athlete, playing a sport that involves a lot of twisting and pivoting actions, which can place a lot of demand on his knee. But the real question is, if you're a recreational or non-professional level athlete with a recent isolated ACL tear, should you be getting a ACL reconstruction? Today we'll be using science to help you answer this question. Welcome back, I'm Fred, advancing health education so that you can live a functional and quality life. Annually, about 200,000 ACL reconstructions are done in the United States alone. And this is costing the society $7.6 billion. But does having ACL reconstruction actually lead to better patient outcome? Whether it's better knee function, return to sport, or reducing your risk of developing osteoarthritis? To answer this question, we'll be looking at a high quality study investigating the impact of ACL reconstruction on non-professional and recreational level athletes. The researchers randomly assigned the participants into two groups. The first group received rehabilitation and early ACL reconstruction. The second group received rehabilitation alone with the option of later ACL reconstruction. And after five years, the researchers found that between the two groups, there were no significant differences in the patient's reported outcomes, including pain, symptoms, knee-related quality of life, general physical and mental health, return to pre-injury activity level, the development of osteoarthritis on imaging, and the need of a meniscus surgery. It is important to note that after five years, 51% of the participants in the second group opt for ACL reconstruction at a later stage. In summary, following a recent isolated ACL tear, rehabilitation and the option of later ACL reconstruction should be recognized as a primary treatment option. Doing this can also lead to a 49% reduction in unnecessary ACL surgeries. But there's always two sides to a coin. And there are many factors that can increase your chance of needing an ACL reconstruction. First, if you're in your 20s and working as a firefighter, the amount of demand placed on your knee will be a lot higher. Second, apart from the ACL tear, you're also experiencing damage of the meniscus and the MCL. Third, at three months post-injury, you continue to experience this feeling of the knee giving away even after proper knee strengthening. Before you rush into the session, it's really important that you consider the evidence and individual factors that we have talked about in today's video. And always use your logic rather than your emotions when making a surgical decision. If you're in 20s or 30s with a recent isolated ACL tear, then you need to know the outcome is pretty much the same whether you opt for early ACL recon, late ACL recon, or rehabilitation alone. It is well established that after ACL tear, rehabilitation should be the primary treatment option. Even if you do choose to have a surgery, the success of the surgery is heavily dependent on your engagement in a comprehensive rehab program. In the next few weeks, we'll be releasing more videos on ACL rehab. If you want to learn more, then make sure to smash the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, we will see you next time.